This video shows the utilization of CompuSalt's Web Enterprise Suite, in support of the OGC Federated Marine Spatial Data Infrastructure, as it relates to the Caribbean connecting land and sea, and the use of OGC API processes, coverages, features, records, and data cubes. This scenario will focus on ocean plastic pollutants, showing the difference in distribution before and after a storm. The goal and objective for this scenario is to show a visualization of how a storm can affect the distribution of plastics in the ocean. Does the plastic material concentrate near shorelines, or is it distributed throughout the ocean? Does a storm bring more plastic pollutants to the area? The processing service will separate land from water, using the Normalized Difference Water Index, NDWI. The presence of plastic in the water will use a dark blue and yellow scale, with dark blue representing no contamination, and yellow representing the plastics. Participants will get insight into how various OGC APIs can work together, to provide a solution to a problem. The OGC API processes in this service, will be calling out to Sentinel Hub on the internet, to process imagery to identify plastics in the ocean. Sentinel Hub uses Sentinel 2 Level 1C imagery. Using the WES OGC CSW catalog, which is also accessible by OGC API records, relevant data has been added to a WES portfolio, over Anguilla, a British overseas territory in the Eastern Caribbean. Hurricane Irma was an extremely powerful hurricane that caused widespread destruction across its path, in September 2017. A temporal OGC API feature service was created from data provided by NOAA National Hurricane Center, to track the hurricane, and added to the portfolio. The temporal OGC API feature service for the hurricane process, is executed over time to show its heading. An OGC API process was added to the portfolio to allow users to visualize ocean plastic pollutants movements, by comparing Sentinel-2 Level 1C imagery over time. We conducted plastic sampling two weeks prior to the arrival of the storm on September 6. The Sentinel imagery clearly shows little pollutants in the area, pre-storm. Sampling over the same spatial area during a two-week period after the storm had passed, clearly shows an increase in plastic pollutants in the area. We attempted to utilize the Sentinel imagery in 3D, however the resolution of the imagery is pixelated. Changing the alpha transparency, allowed us to visualize the plastics distribution. This data would be best suited to a OGC API coverages service, with only the potential plastics highlighted. In conclusion, the 3D visualization implementation of services does not have well-defined styles, and are not supported by any OGC or other relevant standard, without breaking conformance. Also, certain coverages return massive amounts of data, which can lead to long network request times, that reduces the user experience and the temporal playback. Thank you for viewing this demonstration of CompuSalt's Web Enterprise Suite, in support of the OGC Federated Marine Spatial Data Infrastructure, as it relates to the Caribbean connecting land and sea, and the use of OGC API processes, coverages, features, records, and data cubes.